Once more into the breach, dear friends. Once more, or close the wall up with our English dead. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger, stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, disguise fair nature with hard favored rage. Then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let pride through the potage of the head like the brass cannon. Let the brow overwhelm it as fearfully as doth the gallant rock, or a hang and jutty as confounded face. Swilled with the wild and wasteful ocean. Now set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit to his full height. On, on, you noblest English, whose blood is fed from fathers war proof. Fathers that, like so many Alexanders, have in these parts from morn till even fought and sheathed their swords and for lack of argument. To son on your mothers. Now attest that those whom you call fathers did beget you. Be copy now to men of gross of blood, and teach them how to war. And you, good human, whose limbs were made in him, show us here the metal of your pasture. Let us swear that you are worth your breeding, which I not, which I doubt not, for there is none of you so mean and base that hath not no luster in your eyes. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slips, straining upon the staff, the gate the foot. Follow your spirit, and upon this charge, cry, God for Harry, England, and St. George!